again, YouTubers and Pokemon card fans! For today's video, we finally have an XY9 booster box to open up for you guys. Obviously, this is Japanese. XY9, this is the set that will be Breakpoint in English and will release in early February. So, don't waste any time here. Let's crack right into this. I have a little cheat sheet next to me that has all the trainer names and a little quickly what they do that I can probably paraphrase to make it make more sense of what my note says. Uh, but I figured you guys who may have not seen one of these opened yet will probably want to know what some of the cards do. I don't. I won't know what all the Pokemon do. I won't know what any of the Pokemon do, frankly. But uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. So uh, we'll quickly go through these and cut them open carefully, though. I did have one incident doing this before, but I tried cutting open like five or six packs at once, so I guess four is my limit. So I'll just have to do five cuts here, because five times four is 20. And you, of course, get 20 packs in a booster box. And I do have just a few of these left. Uh, I will try to put them on the PokeCapital.com before I make this video live. If you don't find them on there when this video is live, check back later today or tomorrow. This should be there. I think I have maybe like six or so left. This is probably the only one I open, and I'll make the other ones available for purchase. All the other ones I had were already purchased um, from Toys MCN Partners because those who are in the Toys MCN network and buy the stuff to open on their channel, they get them at a discounted price from what we charge on the website. So I always give them first dibs as well on the Japanese stuff. So. If you're not familiar again, trick is one and one, and let's go. We've got Bayleaf, Bay Bay, a Rattata, Drowsy. That I believe is Fighting Spirit Belt, which is a Pokemon tool, and when attached to a basic Pokemon only, it gains 40 HP as attacks do 10 more damage. And I know it's right one because I can see the number 40, number 10 in the text there, because that's not in Japanese. And then we got a uh, Lilligant, I believe that is. So, nothing shining the first pack. And again, if you're not familiar with Japanese cards, I uh, usually get 10 hollows per box, usually four of which are um, EXs or Full Arts or Secret Rares. So you've got a Shelter, a Trubbish, a very sad, lonely looking little Trubbish, Glammeow, Cloyster, so a lot of original ones in this set looks like, we got a slow cane, I believe. Nice. So that's our first hollow rare. So yeah, it looks like there's definitely a lot of the original Pokemon in this set. So that's pretty cool. Got some nostalgia going on here in XY9. We got Heatmore, not an original. Uh, Swanna, Skrelp, Clefable, there's an original. And our first ultra rare, it is a full art. Shiny shine that shines so bright. Looking fierce, Dark Rye, E, Axe. And yes, for those not familiar, full art are secret rares in Japan. Not every box is guaranteed to have a full art. I'm not sure what the like pull rate might be from this set. If you want to get an idea though, I suggest checking out Wake Run Collapse as he always opens 20 boxes of each Japanese set. So you can watch through his videos and get an idea of what the pull rate may be on full art. But, very awesome, Darkrai EX Full Art coming through. So, uh, the one bad thing is that, you know, we kind of ruined the best pull very early in the opening, but hopefully you'll stick around and watch the rest, because we should still find, hopefully, three other EXs, and I'm sure you'll want to see what more of the cards look like if you haven't seen an opening of this yet. All right, we've got a Slowbro, a uh, Petty Lil, Skaroopy, that is Psychic's Mind Reading. Uh, for this card, you play it and your opponent then reveals their hand, and then you may discard from your hand and then discard the same number of cards, or sorry, and then draw the same number of cards you discarded. So, if the translation was correct on Poke Beach, that's what it does. Just seems kind of weird. You play it, like, let me see your hand. Okay, and now I'm gonna discard, boom, 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 and then draw, draw, draw. There's a lot going on for not a whole lot of text either, but. It is what it is. We got a kind of trippy looking Hypno card art with a Clefairy there too. Perhaps using Metronome as well. And that's the last card of that pack. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. And we've got a C Dot, a Hone Edge, Ducklet, I think. 
uh, Max Elixir. For this card, you look at the top six cards of your deck, and you may then attach a basic energy found there to one of your benched basic Pokemon. So, energy acceleration. And then we got a Hollow Garchomp. That is some fierce artwork there. I would not want to meet him in the wild. My goodness. That is just... Yikes. He looks pretty scary there, I gotta say. Gotta say, I would not want to encounter him in the wild. Hooey. I would have to have a pretty beastly Pokemon of my own, at least, if I did. Alright. Um, why am I blanking on your name? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My apologies, I'm blanking. Uh, Slowpoke with Shelder and some Ducklet there as well. Phantom. Seismitoad makes a return. And Drapion. Why don't I know that guy's name? Oh my goodness. I'm sure I'll get like 100 comments now telling me what the name is. Oh well. We got a Frogadier. Chikorita. With some kind of vortex hole in the ground. Look at a Fennec in there. I don't know what's going on in that picture. Interesting. We got Dewblade. Pseudo Wudo. I think that's the first Pseudo Wudo card in a long time. And it might, 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 might be only the second Pseudo Wudo ever made. If I remember right, I've seen like trivia before of like what Pokemon has been printed the least in TCG. And I think Pseudo Wudo is one of like one or two Pokemon that only had one card made before now. So. If you're a fan of Pseudo Wudo, congratulations. There is finally a new Pseudo Wudo card. Surrounded by Trevenant. And then we have a Greninja Break. Nice. I forgot about the Break cards in this set completely. Gotta be honest. So I forget how that messes with the odds of like EXs and stuff. If these come as hollow rares in Japanese. I think they do. But we'll see how it shakes out in the end. So not too bad there. Greninja Break. And like I said, I don't know offhand what any of the Pokemon in the set do. This one has an ability and no attack, but I'm sure a lot of you watching know. And if you want to comment and let uh, the other viewers know what some of the EXs and breaks do, feel free. Or if there's any other, you know, expected to be competitive cards, feel free to let us know in the comments below. We got a Pharaoh Seed, which evolves in a Pharaoh Thorn, I believe. Krikatat, Krikatoon, Faroki, just chilling. Scizor, Spirit Link. And a uh, Dragology Hollow. So that is our fifth shiny card. So halfway on the shinies. We got one, two, three. Well, we got probably just over half our packs left. So we'll get less than one and two moving forward now. All right, we've got, oh, Garchomp. Or so, Gabite. Gro Grovile? No, that's the grass. Oh my gosh. Garchomp is the stage two. One of these is Gabite. Oh my gosh, why am I having such a hard time with this? I'm so embarrassed. Um, Gabite, Garchomp, Gar, Gag, Gabite, Gam, Bujiba. I don't know. There, one of these is Gabite, and then we got the Garchomp. So, why I am blanking on this evolution line so badly, I don't know. But there's a Garchomp, there's a Gabite. Gibble, 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 Gabite, Garchomp. I think I got it. So I'll just have to refer to that as Kimmy Gibble, I guess. Wait, Kimmy Gibbler. Gibbler. Ah, whatever. Fuller House is coming soon to Netflix. That's all I know. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Okay. Uh, Durant, now a grass type. He's been steel before and possibly colorless or something else as well. Palpitoad. That's kind of cool artwork. Some cool CGI or whatever there. It's not clay. I, I like that, though. Looks cool. Uh, Trevenant. And that is Delinquent. I think this will probably see some play because card advantage is definitely an important thing in Pokemon. What this card does, you ask? Well, you play it, and then you can discard a stadium card in play. And if you did, your opponent then discards three cards from their hand. And forcing your opponent to discard three cards, that can be kind of a big deal. I mean, they might only have four or five cards in their hand. They could have played for the previous turn to get a certain card, and they might discard that card and other supporters they had could really set them back and really turn the game around for you. Plus the stadium you discard might be something that they're using to their advantage, so you could hurt them on multiple levels. So I definitely think that we'll see some play at least as a one or two of in many decks. That's just my gut instinct at least. Anyways, we've got a Stantler. We got a Blitzel. Crick a uh, Tot. 
a Feral Thorn, and a Hollow Greninja. So, Pokemon Evolutionary should be happy with this box of ours. Greninja and Greninja Break. Very cool. Alright. Keep on going here. Should find another EX here pretty soon as well. Um, we should find at least two non full art EXs. Maybe three. Got Pancham. Looks cuter there than other card arts. Uh, Nuzleaf. Numel. Pangoro. That's how he often looks. I don't know if will be off, but... He usually looks more fierce in the card arts. And then we have Reverse Valley. The blue side. Up, so you play it down and then blue affects that side, red affects that side, or vice versa. So whoever's on the blue side, uh, their metal Pokemon take 10 less damage. Whoever's on the red side, their dark Pokemon do 10 more damage. So that's what that does. And speaking of Pancham, I'm slowly finally watching some XY episodes. I'm on like episode 14 or so. So just a couple episodes ago I saw the one that had Pancham Pangoro and when I first encountered them, the Pancham are looking extra adorable but in the Pokedex, they make a note that they look a lot more conniving and evil and not so friendly, which kind of turned out to be the case but anyways, I digress. Here we got Clefairy with Hypno in the background. Earlier if you remember, we had a Hypno card with Clefairy in the background. So it looks like Clefairy is under Hypno's spell of some sort. We got another Rattata that might be our first duplicate of the box. Might be. Shelter, that's another duplicate. Camera upped. And there we go! Mega Gyarados EX! And yes, that is a red Gyarados, just like on the box. And the attack, because I, I can read English, is Blast Geyser. So that's what the English card will say up there, and vice versa. So, very cool. That's our first non full RDX. Mega Gyarados. I forget if the card name is actually Mega Shiny Gyarados or not, but I should have checked that as well. My apologies, but still, very awesome pull right there. Gotta say, I'm quite pleased with this box thus far. And we should still find one, maybe two more EXs. All right, we've got Perugly. How can any kitty be ugly? Drowsy. Pharaoh Seed. That is Burst Balloon. That's a tool. You attach to your Pokemon. And... If it's still attached to your Pokemon at the end of your opponent's next turn, you discard it. Otherwise, if the Pokemon it's attached to is damaged, it does six damage counters of damage to your opponent attacking Pokemon. So, if I attach this, and then there, I do whatever, and that's their turn. If they attack me, the card is basically used, and they take six damage, 60 damage, six damage counters, however you want to say it, and that's discarded. They decide not to attack, or this goes to the bench, and they don't get attacked, it discards at the end of their turn anyway, so it could potentially do nothing. So Blitzel, and then that should be Zebstrika, unless there's, I don't think there's a stage two. I hope I got that right. Should be Zebstrika. Pretty sure. Pretty confident on that one. Just a little doubt. Just a little. All right. We got Petalil, Skrelp, Swana. That is Time Puzzle. And this is a card that you can either play one of or two of at the same time. If you play just one, then you look at the top three cards of your deck and arrange them in any order that you like. If you play two of them at the same time, then you can look at the, uh, let's see. Then you go through your discard pile, choose two cards in your discard pile, and return them to your hand. So it can be very powerful if playing two of them at the same time. And then we have a Hone Edge, Dew Blade, and a Slash, right? I hope I got that right. I should know that one better. It's actually been a few sets in that spin around, but I think it was in... It was an XY base set, I think. Is that the only set it's been in so far? Could be. And now it's a Psychic type, as you can see. So very nice. So let's see, that's three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight foils, and we got six packs left. So we expect just two more in the last six. So our pace is above average to start in the first 14 packs. I got our Bayleaf, Hone Edge, uh, Timpole, Shiftry. I wonder what that one does. There's no ability though. It seems like Shiftries always have an ability or Poke Power, depending on the generation and what the current card game format or if you want to say is. Uh, the one that was in was the Next Destinies, I think, is banned from extended format. And then we have Splash Energy. If the Water Pokemon that this card is attached to is knocked out, you return all the Pokemon to your hand. 
So I, if it was a stage two, I think return the stage one and basic as well. So for instance, you have a stage two Grid Ninja out there and it gets has the splash energy attached and it gets knocked out. You would return the Mudkip and the Swamp. What am I doing? Greninja, Froki, Frogadier, and Greninja, you return to your hand. I started thinking of Swamp or Tukes, but. Moving on! Krikatoon, Phantom, Slowpoke, Sigilith, and a Suicune. I really like that pack art. Pack art. I cannot talk today! That card art with the sunny. Oh my gosh. Sudden. The setting sun in the background there. It looks very cool. It looks like it's run across the water as well. So it's a very pretty card, I must say. So never mind all the, you know, slippages of my words. That is that. Four packs to go. So I guess we will only get four hits here unless we end up with 11 foils in the box. Maybe the break will be an extra. We'll see. We got a Trubbish. Gabite. Right? No, Gibble. That's Gibble. And then Gabite. Alright. Gibble. Got it. Heatmore. Cloyster. And Espeon EX. Very nice. That is a cute, cool looking card right there. 170 HP. So that is our 30X. Second of which is not a full art. Alright. So three packs to go. We already have 10 foils. So I'm thinking we're going to have an 11 foil box here unless I miscounted. But... Let's see what happens. And hopefully it's another EX. We got Radicate for the first time. Radicate! <coughs> Frogadier, Stantler, Gyarados Spirit Link, and another uh, Fighting Spirit Belt. I think, looking at my list, we have gotten every trainer and special energy at least once. So, got that all taken care of anyway. Skura Rupee, uh, Gabite. Shelder, a Seismitoad, and the Hypno that's putting Clefairy under a spell. And last pack, last chance for glory. I see another Clefairy there. So there is that Clefairy. So there are the two cards together. Should kind of be the other way, I guess. Hypno's doing a little spell to Clefairy, and now Clefairy's all hypnotized. And we got the Chikorita looking into the portal thing at Fennekin. I don't know what that is. Pancham! The uh, Psychic Spine reading, and uh, Lilligant. So indeed, we do just get the 10 Hollows, but still not bad at all. So there are the six regular Hollows right quick, three of which are water type. And then we've got the Greninja Break, Espeon EX, Mega Gyarados EX, and the Full Art Darkrai EX. So... Uh, like I said, I'm not sure what the expected odds are offhand because I've not had a chance to really watch any of these in their entirety yet. Um, but I know usually we'd get four EXs when there aren't breaks at least, so we get uh, three regular arts and one full art, best case scenario. So, not sure if the breaks were placed in the X or we just had bad luck on the quantity wise, but we did get a full art, so I can't complain. And a mega shiny Gyarados there. Very nice as well. So that's all for today's elongated video. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button. Visit our website, I'll try to get my remaining box of this set on there ASAP. Hopefully before this video is live. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for some more Pokemon opening goodness. Thanks for watching everybody.